for my super good intro. Mm-hmm. What's up? Back at you again with another episode of the Skeleton Squad. Today we're reviewing the last vestiges of my childhood. <laughs> there you go. You're welcome. Yeah, don't ask why we're wearing these shirts. There's literally no reason. For fun! She put hers on and then I was like, hey, I think I have one of those. And ta-da. It's getting to be Halloween season. We're in the spirit. Yeah. The Spirit Halloween. <laughs> so today we are going to be unboxing her last ever Owl Crate. And that is not an insult <laughs> to the Owl Crate company. She, we love Owl Crate. We love Owl Crate. You've been getting it since probably like sixth grade at least? Yeah. Yeah. So sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. It's been a, a long journey, my good friend. You have you, you had a good run, Owl Crate. We love you. So I just don't have enough time to read for fun anymore. It's very sad. We're very sad. If you're interested after watching, I will leave a link down below. I don't have any affiliation with the company except that we really enjoyed it. We just love them. We yeah. love them a lot. And they're about thirty dollars a month. There's also an Owl Crate Junior, which I wish they had had uh, when you were little. <laughs> they didn't come out with that till you were past that age. You can look into that as well. All right, so here we go. Whatcha? Whoa. Hi. Hello. That's awful cute. Nevermore for a blanket. With the, the good, good raven boys from Mr. Poe. So every owl crate comes with one young adult fiction book and then a few assorted items, many of which are exclusive to the Owl Crate. And a pin. And a pin. And, and sometimes the books have like special edition covers just for the Owl Crate, and they usually come signed either on the actual book or with a little card, and it'll come with like a note from the author talking about why they wrote the book and stuff. Whoa, it's soft. Yeah. That's cool. Good night. <laughs> So that's awesome. We're, we're off to a good start. Off to a good start. What's next? What's next? Candle. Candles come pretty often in these. And they're good. They're nice candles. The Black Flame Candle. Essence of vanilla and bourbon. I've never had bourbon. <laughs> Which is a good thing. Don't do alcohol, kids. Let me sniff. Yep, that probably smells like bourbon. Just a hint. It doesn't have like a harsh, it just smells like kind of like, it's sort of like vanilla with some extra warmth to it. I hope it's warm, it's a candle. All right, what else we got? Pin, you get a pin every month. They're real neat. A glorious haunting. It's got a rose, it's a hand holding a rose. A black rose. Black rose, dramatic. So what have you done with all the different pins that come in all the boxes? Um, a few months back, they gave us a nice little holder for it. Just like a piece of cloth that you can hang up, pretty sturdy fabric. And I've just been sticking them in there, or I'll put them on my backpack, or give them to friends. Just fun things to have. Yeah, and that's another cool thing. Sometimes if there was stuff in the box that she wasn't necessarily into, but she knew maybe a friend would be, we would set it aside and keep it on hand for gifts for friends. Next. Lip balm, lip, lip balm. Lip balm, Sleepy Hollow. Pumpkin spice flavor. It's vegan. Cool. I'm not vegan, but that's still cool. I can't wait to smell that. Do you need me to use my actual nail? No, I have one. <laughs> Ooh. It smells good. It sort of smells like licorice. A mysterious package. It does come with a card to like tell you what all's in it and like little descriptions of everything, but where is the fun in that? We'll look at it eventually and talk about it. Whoa! That's cool. It's a bookmark. Oh, cool. It's got a little third member. We had no idea. That's so fun. Mysterious box. It's got more skulls on it. We are appropriately themed. It says coffee spoons. 
What is a coffee spoon? I guess to, you stir your sugar and cream in. All right. Whoa. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! It's got their skulls. What's the third one? Whoa! I love them. Those are so fun. All right, so now we're to the card where we can kind of explain what different things were from. Do you want to read anything? I will read it. Okay. I'll do a dramatic reading. Okay. Give me a voice to do for this first one. Someone who wants to talk to the manager. Michelle Gray. <laughs> Never mind, just talk like your normal self. Michelle Gray designed this flannel blanket featuring the full text of Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven to be the perfect co cozy companion to have upon a midnight dreary. Now we're just wondering how to track blankets on Goodreads. Aha! Don't give me another voice. <laughs> Please. Um, let's see. Um, someone who just saw a monster. Stir some gothic vibes into your next cuppa with our stainless steel skull spoon set inspired by the bone houses. That's a... I'm pretty sure they gave us that book before. Yeah, inspired by the bone houses by Emily Lloyd-Jones. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I haven't gotten around to reading it. Which is why this is the last yeah. one. Her to read stack was just getting out of hand, so that's part of why we decided oh, to stop. Free time. Yeah. We got school, and theater, and dog. And her thriving red bubble business. My thriving red bubble business. I'll link that down below. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, this is fun. Nothing screams AUTUMN! <laughs> it is in all caps. Like, surrounding yourself with pumpkin spice goodness, we can't get enough of this Sleepy Hollow-inspired lip balm that Fiction Bath Co. created exclusively for this box. I'm pretty sure that same company has been, like, done bath bombs and, like, soaps and stuff before. That's the other cool thing about these boxes is if you find a certain artist you really like, um, or a certain company, you can find them and buy more items. Like, um, you discovered an illustrator, I think, that you really enjoyed. And it promotes small businesses. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Novelty yours whipped up something extra magical in their cauldrons with this black flame candle. Light it up and settle in to watch Hocus Pocus for the millionth time. Lapels and Spells designed this death before DNF enamel bookmark that's perfect for marking your place in your seasonally spooky reads. DNF is an acronym used in book reviews that indicates a book that you did not finish. That's funny. Autumn TBRs deserve atmospheric haunting reads, and with its spine chilling elements, Horrid totally delivers. That's the book. Set in a dilapidated New England manor house, this contemporary horror story explores themes of mental illness, rage, and grief. Our signed edition features an exclusive cover and author letter from Katrina Lino. Turn your dust jacket to the reverse side to see the exclusive artwork that Rena Illustrations created for our edition. The Pickety Witch took inspiration from Horrid's distinctive rose-filled garden when designing this month's enamel pin. We hope that you love the subtle witchy aesthetics of this piece as much as we do. You wanna open she it? She looks fun. Doesn't she look like a barrel of fun? Oh, and it has like little cards. Yeah, and then each it. one comes with like a little booklet. So these cards are always, they have like fun artwork that you can keep it and put it somewhere you know, and they're in a nice size for framing if you want to put it in a frame. And then a little booklet that usually has like some discussion questions or a little more about the author. There's like a little word search in this one. They get, they do a lot of Instagram challenges as far as like trying to get you to take pictures of different elements from your owl crate to share on social media. And then this one has something to scan and listen to on Spotify, which is kind of cool. It's got new releases. So. for other books in the month. Here is the author letter that it comes with. I'm not gonna read it because it's a secret. Whoa, spooky. Here's the author. Say hello. And let's do the thing that it told us to do. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. So here's the regular side. And here's the other side. Whoa! Spooky. I never would have noticed that if I hadn't read that. Yeah. It's signed. Yay! Yay! And then down at the bottom, there's usually one last card that sort of gives you 
information about next month's box. So the theme of the October box is legends and lore. And then on the back, they give a little sneak peek and it shows that every October box will include a unique and useful item created by fabric designer Janine LaCour. And it's a really cute looking artist with fun examples of her work. Got a little dancing bear. Yeah. And a fox with a dress. Fun. So. Oh, um, and also, I had this when I was doing Battle of the Books back in middle school, and I got a book that was by an author that we also had a book for for Battle of the Books, and it was signed, and I showed it to the librarian because she was the head of the team, and she thought it was, like, super cool. I was, like, so popular. Yeah, oh, and we donated a huge tapestry came in mm -hmm. one of the boxes. And, and I didn't have room for it in my room. So cause... it's now hanging up in the Kernersville Middle School Library. So... <laughs> You're welcome if you go there. <laughs> My contribution to you. you Hopefully probably... it makes middle school slightly less miserable. All right. What should we do to wrap this up? Thanks for watching my last ever owl crate. <laughs> I'm going to put sad music here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but we wanted to make sure other people knew about how awesome it was. If you have someone in your life who is into young adult fiction. It's a good gift. I think I got my very first one, like the first subscription that I had as a Christmas gift, and I was like, hype. Yeah, so. All right, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss next week's video. See ya. Follow them on Instagram. Yeah, that too. All right, bye. Video. These spoons are super cool. What's up everybody? Welcome to the secret video. Is it still rolling? It is. Hi. It's the secret video. Cause she left. So now I can say whatever I want. Butt crack. Ah ha ha. Try demonetizing me now, YouTube. This is the secret video. You'll never know. Anyways, I really do love Owl Crate. And I'm pretty sad that I have to give it up. But it was fun while it lasted. Had a lot of good memories and good fun times. Thanks, Owl Crate. Bye-bye.